The mystery surrounding ancient Egypt has continued to grip the world. For generations now, our obsession with the ancient wonders that are present in the region has refused to diminish. We continue to search for the secrets to the answers we know very little about. That is fact, you know. We know very little about the ancient buildings. Most people don't know this. Most of us accept the idea that the knowledge they learn is fact without doing any sort of logical thinking on the matter themselves. The history we think we know is nothing short of a lie. When we consider the world is filled with structures that are thousands of years old, yet engineers all around the world are dumbstruck as to how this was actually achieved with primitive tools and primitive thinking. The answer is, of course, the fact that there was a lost global civilization that existed on this earth many thousands of years before the timeline of what we are told actually begins. We obviously never went from caveman to building pyramids overnight, yet this is what we are meant to believe. Crazy, right? Anyway, guys, we wanted to bring your attention to a possible second sphinx in the Giza Plateau. Wait till you hear this. Okay, so two sphinxes at Giza, where is the evidence? What if we were to tell you that a analysis of ancient history and in-depth studies of archaeological evidence actually does suggest that there should be two sphinxes here. This means there is one still buried in the sand and a possible candidate to the legendary hall of ancient records could be represented here after all. Not only did the ancient Egyptians mention the second sphinx, but so did the Greeks, Romans, and Muslims. So the fact is, we simply have not rediscovered it yet. Could the second sphinx still be in a preserved state, unlike the reconstructed Great Sphinx, which is still standing? Imagine the kind of secrets it could still hold. When we think about the ancient history of Egypt and the sphinxes that have been found across the region, then you always find evidence of pairing of sphinxes. So the fact that the sphinx at the Giza Plateau is alone can be considered as an anomaly. NASA's most up-to-date land mapping analysis has made it possible to analyze the density of the geological layers that make up the ground and the monuments of the Giza Plateau. And with this photographic evidence, we can actually see that in this area, there really does seem to be a structure that NASA has colored in yellow. The satellite image released by NASA just above the Pyramids Plateau confirmed this discovery. Having demonstrated this suggestive possibility thanks to an exhaustive research work that has taken more than a decade, the only thing left is to obtain an excavation permit that will help demonstrate whether or not there is another Sphinx next to the Great Sphinx of Giza. Wouldn't that be something? What do you guys think? Comments below. Thanks for watching.